Okay, you guys, I got everything ready to make the put the lasagna together. So I figured I haven't did lasagna in, I don't know. I mean, it's been a long time since we have lasagna. So I'll go ahead and put it together for with you guys. And I know I'll probably have a lot on my channel too, but oh well. Great. Let's do it. I'll tell you guys, that heat drives me crazy. Whew, it's so stinking hot. Okay, I don't need the celery. <laughs> And got the stuff cut up for us. How let's go with it. Remain washed and cut up. Got a big bowl of cheese. Woohoo, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Noodles. Got the oven on already. Got the meat done here. I got seasoned it up. I put garlic, onion, an herb, and stuff like that. I was going to do white pepper in, bell pepper in it. I changed my mind and didn't do that so but it's okay we'll be all right getting the seasoning off the thing yeah i'll put it on the floor right. i am going to get some spinach leaf in it because we do like spinach in ours everybody's got the seeds beyond and lots and lots of cheese um, oh God. Make a big one because everybody's starving. Everybody wants lots. Okay. 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 Always do a layer of meat first. Get it going. I only use one pound of meat. This being, I probably should have used two, but you know. Oh well. It is what it is. Let's throw some spinach on the bottom. Might as well. A little bit of the veggies in it anyways. You know spinach leaf, it's good for you. I hear something scraping. Hey guys, these are just regular noodles and you can still just cook them just like they're oven ready noodles. You don't have to buy oven ready noodles. They try to fool you with that. I've been doing it this way for years. And you seriously don't have to buy them oven ready. Neep, neep, neep. You know. Stick a little bit here. Oh, I know what that is. It's Maxi Boo. He likes to lick the bottom of his food bowl. <laughs> he does. Now, I did this in the slow cooker too, but still tends to cook a little faster if you put it in the oven. So that's what I'm doing. A little more spinach. I usually tear it up. Put it in. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now, you don't want to really want to overdo it with spinach. And if they got the bigger stems, I will take those out. I did overdo it with spinach one time. And... Okay, now it's time for the cheese. Ho, 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 ho. Glorious cheese. Yes. They can never put too much cheese, y'all. I usually use about nine. Ah, I probably could have. I didn't even have to break that one. Once I get up this high, you don't have to break it. Oh well. It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. I already got two layers of spinach. I'm going to skip a layer or two. I might have no more spinach. You know what I mean? I won't use all this cheese. I just put it on a bowl because it's easier to do than trying to get it 
out of the bags. And, uh, just easier. Usually do three layers. That's three layers, right? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> it is. And I'll probably stick it on a cookie sheet just to make sure it doesn't over. Overrun in my oven. layer it's really the only one I have to really um break the stuff with and I just put it in in the oven until um you know it's nice and done I usually poke a knife through all the way make sure the noodles are soft and boom you're done I don't think it's going to run over anyway, so I probably won't have to put it on the sheet. Make sure the corners are covered really well. And then um, I'll freeze some of this too. Because we won't eat this whole pan. I know for sure we won't because I've made it many times and we never did. Especially having a big old salad with it. So once it cools, I'll put the thing here start in the freezer. So... We can have one whenever we feel like it. It's going to be a little bit of a later dinner, but oh well. It is what it is. It is what it is. We'll come back and taste test it. Sometimes I do that. I do taste test and sometimes I don't. But if I need if I need more footage, I'll taste test it. I know when I'm doing this and I always watch my video back. And yes, I always watch my video back. People ask me that all the time. And yes, I do. Um, stuff you see in my video, I leave it in there. Um... I'm not thinking, that's enough cheese, that's enough cheese. He's like, that's enough cheese, that's enough cheese, that's it. <laughs> okay, like I said, I'm going to put this in the oven until the cheese gets good and brown. And while this is cooking, I'll clean up. Move out of the way, Max. We'll clean up and uh, wait for it to get done. Oops, I dropped a piece of cheese in the bottom I like to keep my oven, oven nice and clean. A lot of y'all have said before. How do you keep your oven so nice and clean? Be really careful. You try to wipe it out as much as you can. Not right up there. Oh. No, no, thank you. So I got all this cheese back. Left, I'll just throw it in the thing and the bag used to get in the refrigerator. Use it or my flatbread pizza, flatbread pizzas, things like that. Okay, ain't got much cleanup, didn't waste much noodles because that pan the noodles go in there pretty good, so I didn't have to break most of, most of them. Now, when you put it in a slow cooker, you got to break a lot of noodles. Yeah, it's crazy, but you know, that's just the way it goes. So, yeah. So that is what I'm going to do. See, not much of a mess back there at all. Oops, dropped the noodle on the floor. 
Oops, dropped two noodles on the floor. Whoopsie. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> um, Logan has got some treats in here. So we got a good stock up of stuff. Yay, yay, yay. Yay. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I will go get this video uploaded for you. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if anybody wants to know, just ask me in the comments how long it's on you. It's, it's good. I make it like this all the time. I usually never change it up. It's usually the same way. Um, next time, I think I like to get some fresh mushrooms or something like that put in it. Be good. God bless. Stefan C.